According to a new study, the Gulf Stream could collapse as early as 2025. Now, a collapse of the Gulf Stream would bring catastrophic climate impacts, but scientists disagree over the new analysis. And so do we. And I'm going to read you the article and have a little bit of commentary. Now, according to The Guardian, the Gulf Stream system could collapse as soon as 2025. A new study suggests, and here is the study warning of a forthcoming collapse of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. That's the AMOC. The shutting down of the vital ocean currents called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, by scientists, would bring catastrophic climate impacts. Now, this is a true statement, but what they elucidate towards here in the future is complete nonsense. They claim that if we tax you and cut plant food, that they'll actually be able to stop this, a cycle that has been happening time immemorial for hundreds of thousands of years. And based on my geologic research, these ocean currents and the ENSO cycle have been occurring for hundreds of millions of years. Now, we already know that the AMOC is known to be at its weakest in the last 1,600 years. And this is owing to global heating since the last mini ice age. And researchers have spotted warning signs of a tipping point back here in 2021. Now, the new analysis estimates a time scale for the collapse between 2025 and 2095. And here you can see the end point here, TC, around 2055. And according to the team, if global carbon emissions are not reduced... Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Evidence from past collapses indicate that changes of temperature of 10 degrees C in a few decades could occur. And that's to the negative. So we must cut carbon emissions because an ocean current and a circulation pattern that has been driven and shut down over the last 500 million years is going to shut down unless you pay your taxes or you cut your emissions. Now, other scientists said the assumptions about how a tipping point would play out and uncertainties in the underlying data are too large for any reliable estimate of the timing of the tipping point. But all said, the prospect of an AMOC collapse was extremely concerning and should spur rapid cuts, again, in carbon emissions. More nonsense. Now, what the AMOC does is it carries warm ocean water northwards towards the pole, where it cools and sinks, driving the Atlantic currents. There is a cool subsurface flow and a warm surface flow, and they shift. Now, a collapse of the AMOC would have disastrous consequences around the world, severely disrupting the rains that billions of people depend on for food in India, South America, and even West Africa. It would increase storms and drop temperatures in Europe and lead to rising sea levels on the eastern coast of North America. It would also further endanger the Amazon rainforest and Antarctic ice sheets. I think we should be very worried, said Professor Peter Ditlevins at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, who led the study and got funded through global warming research. This would be a very, very large chance and change. The AMOC has not been shut off for 12,000 years. The AMOC collapsed and restarted repeatedly in the cycle of the ice ages that occurred from 115 to 12,000, about every 26,000 years, and subsequently sometimes on the periodicity of 12 or 13,000 years. 
This is one of the climate tipping points scientists are most concerned about as global temperatures rise. Now, the reason the temperatures have been rising is because since 1880, it was the coldest point in the last 12,000 years. So, of course, temperatures are going to rise from that point because there's only one way to go from the lowest temperature, and that's up. But the new study published in the journal Nature Communications used sea surface temperature data stretching back to 1870 as a proxy for the change in the strength of the AMOC currents, and it's shutting down. The researchers then mapped the data on the path seen in the system that are approaching a particular type of tipping point called the saddle node bifurcation. The data fit surprisingly well, according to the lead author. The researchers were then able to extrapolate the data to estimate when the shutdown would occur. And you can see here, there's the end, end game, baby, on all data points. 20, 55. The analysis is based on greenhouse gas emissions rising, as they have done. The only problem with that stat is that greenhouse gases rise in a linear fashion and have nothing to do with the output from your car. If CO2 does start to fall, as intended by current climate policies, let me tell you what, the CO2 has not continued to rise regardless of all climate policies. Let's take a quick look at trends in atmospheric CO2 versus global temperature and all the climate policies since before 1980. The first World Climate Conference in 1979 was set and everyone agreed to do that thing. As CO2 continued to rise at the same rate it has since 1960, the first IPCC assessment came out and everyone took action and nothing happened. CO2 continued to rise. The first UN climate change conference in 1995. Oh, we better do something. And then CO2 rapidly rose after that conference in defiance of the conference. The Kyoto Protocol entered into force in 2005. Everyone was going to comply and CO2 increased even faster. After the Copenhagen Afford Accord, nothing happened to the increase in CO2 because it's being outgassed by the ocean and your car and cow farts have nothing to do with the increase in CO2. It's not you. It's the ocean. And then in 2015, the Paris Agreement was adopted and just months after that, CO2 rapidly rose 10 times faster than it ever had before any of the other climate accords. And CO2 continues to rise at the same rate it has since about 1975. <laughs> so, the most, the most recent assessment by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change concluded that the AMOC would not collapse this century. Yeah, they're telling you, no, the Gulf Stream will not collapse in 2025. It's not going to get cold. It's going to get hot. They need you to keep on with the narrative. As CO2 continues to rise, not based on you, CO2, your car, or anything else, this is outgassing from the earth of a trace gas that is just 0 0.04 of the atmosphere. And now the IPCC is getting involved and saying, no, it's not going to happen. There's no way that the AMOC is going to shut down and cool the earth. Keep paying your taxes. And that's basically how the narrative goes. You keep getting a news story after a news story, and it's all doomism. So now the IPCC is saying, we need to sound the alarm on climate optimism. Yeah, the AMOC isn't shutting down. No, CO2 isn't shutting it down. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's all going to be fine. Just keep paying your taxes and the world is going to die. All garbage. This is garbage science. This is propaganda, which was legalized in 2012 by the smith munt Modernization Act. Now, the extrapolation in the new analysis was reasonable, according to Professor Tim Lenton at the University of Ex Exeter, UK. He said the tipping point could lead to a partial AMOC collapse, which has never been termed before, never heard of it ever. So this is just a made-up thing. 
For example, only in the Labrador Sea, but that this would still cause major climate impacts. Oh, okay, Devettelson. He hoped the debate would drive new research, yes, which would be funded by all those global warming dollars. It's always fruitful when you do not exactly agree on the narrative. This is such garbage. I hope you never read The Guardian again or believe in any of the nonsense that anyone is telling you. The Gulf Stream current always shuts down on a regular periodicity that drives ice ages. The cycles of cosmic catastrophe never end. They've been going on for millions of years, at least for the last five million. We've had some fluctuations. There's a 100,000 year cycle and a lesser 26 and 41,000 year cycle. Nothing is regular and periodic as many fear mongers on the internet want you to believe. But the shutdown of the AMOC happens on all of these drop downs. And the last one, well, was quite a bit ago. And so we are waiting for the next AMOC shutdown to happen any time now. Yes, it's true. The Gulf Stream could collapse any day now. And what that means is a rapid change in climate, just like we've seen in the ice core data happening for millions of years. Those are the facts, whether you want to believe them or not. It's not you, it's not CO2, it's the sun. And that is boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do. The links will be below in the description box and in the first comment. We love you, be safe.